Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What we are doing here today is setting up nuclear power facility down below. We're making uranium fuel rods. Now, what I need to do is get uranium there. And with update four, there's a nice new uranium node here on the top of the tallest part of the map. Now, you might think, well, that's really good, but how do you get the uranium from there down to there? Well, you can use drones, really easy. This is an impure node. So the most I'm gonna pull out of it is 150 per minute with a Mark II miner fully overclocked. So a drone will be able to handle that quite easily, but you need power because there's no power up here. Or do you? Well, you don't. Why not use another drone station up here to deliver packaged fuel Unpackage the fuel, feed it into fuel generators, and then bang, you've got the power you need to run this whole operation up here as an independent power source setup. Pretty straightforward stuff. So the power requirements are, the fully overclocked Mark II miner will be 52 megawatts. There's two drone stations, they're 100 megawatts each. You have the, un the packager to unpackage the packaged fuel, that's 10 megawatts. And an awesome sink to get rid of the empty canisters, that's 30 megawatts. So that's 322 megawatts total at a peak load. We're going to overclock two fuel generators to 250%. That will give us a total of 607.1 megawatts. That requires in total 48.56 fuel per minute for the two generators and the unpackager will provides us with 60 fuel per minute so we're going to have an excess of fuel as well so let's build this and get it going it's pretty straightforward i'm going to start off over here what's really useful is when you're first starting off building something like this and obviously you need to have your hazmat suit here because you're going to be running around with uh, radiation in the area. A ladder makes it easy to, to build in this sort of setup. I'm going to uh, trigger everyone right now. I'm not going to be using foundations, shock horror. So we go to our transportation and we build two drone ports and I'm gonna face them this way. Uh, I'm gonna put one roughly here. And the other one, how about here? That looks very pleasing to the eye, I'm sure. Uh, we need our miner, which is under production here. And I can face that towards the direction of the drone port. That's for the uranium. I'm going to do my, I'm just going to, Put the fastest belt possible into it. I don't really care about that. Now the drones themselves need batteries to run. However, the location where the package fuel comes from, the drone port there has the batteries that provide the batteries for the drone. And the location where the uranium is dropped off at, it provides the batteries for the drone. I have some batteries in my inventory to put in to kickstart the setup. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward. Now we have our fuel generators over here out of the way. Two of those. We're going to have the packager. That's going to come straight out from here. That's going to feed into a I'm just going to put an industrial fluid buffer here as well, uh, just for giggles. And I'm going to get down from here now. I'm going to put my awesome sink up the top here. All 
Radio. So like I said, this here, two fifty percent. The same with these two. their power I'll just bring this through to here I'm also going to put a power pole up but a special type of power pole I'm gonna use a um, pillar And then we're just going to put some down like this. It's not centered, but that's okay. I'm sure you'll be able to handle it. That one's going to power that there. That's going to go to here. I'm not going to actually, I'm not going to power that yet. And I'm not going to power the drone stations yet. Here is the fuel. It's going to come out. Bring it over to here. This is the output from our package fuel. I'm just going to do a Mark 5 conveyor belt up to here because I can. I will power the awesome sync up at the same time uh, that can go up to the top pole there that's there and our output into there now I'm gonna start off with our unpackaged fuel recipe and I'm gonna preload a stack in there I'm also gonna put some I've got my inventory here into the incoming pile and you can see that's filled up that there. So we've, we've preloaded the machine. And that one's powered there. So all it needs is a jump start with a biomass burner to make this happen. And what you should do too is I'm going to do here is I'm going to disconnect this for the moment because I want to buffer this up and also with update 4 the generators you need to buffer them up before you turn them on. So you do that by not having them actually connected to a power cable. So let's put down our biomass burner to start off with. I'm also going to fully overclock that. I'm going to put Put that in there, bang, and just hook that up to the power connector. Radio. So there's our package fuel coming into here. While we're doing that, let's give our drones a name, drone platforms. So we're going to start off this one, I'm going to call Uranium Source. And I'm also going to just put a stack of 100 batteries in there because that's the fuel for the drones. This one, I'm going to call this packaged fuel drop-off. And we're going to put another stack of batteries in here. Uh, we have no power right now. We know that. That's okay. How much fuel have we already got? So we've already got 60. That's enough to fill up the two generators. So let's hook that up. And there's absolutely no clipping going on whatsoever. As you can see, it's uh, perfectly normal pipe rock. 
So the best practice at the moment is to wait till you see the generators receive fuel. And I'm just waiting for that to happen. Here we go here. This one's received 25, 27. And this one here. It's not received any yet. What's actually going on here is there is a height difference. And this is why it's good to build off platforms. This generator on the right is, you can see it here. It's slightly lower than the generator on the left. So what's happening is the fuel is taking a priority in going to the lowest spot first. So now you can see this one's receiving fuel and this one here is already buffered all the way up. So I'm just going to wait until this one buffers up. It won't take long. That's why uh, fluids, it's very important, uh, a good practice to have everything on the same level platform it really make it, you we saw it happen right here it was very obvious what was going on but it may not look obvious when you're trying to troubleshoot stuff and that's what makes the no foundation challenge such a hard thing to do all right well we've got enough so all i need to do now is have a drink of coffee There we are. We have our 607.1 megawatts. We don't need this anymore. We can now power this up. Our drone platform. Can be powered to that one. And also... This one here. So now all that's left is to bring our package fuel here. That's pretty important before we run out of fuel. So I'm going to place the drone. I'm going to come into here and I'm going to go this port. Its destination is, if I type fuel, package fuel outbound. That's where I want. And that comes to here. Then on this one, you can see we're getting uranium so I'm putting a drone here and this one this port goes to UFA uranium so this is the, I know this location here and this port uranium source and there you go and it's already taking off with 507 because I filled up the drone port with some batteries before it went off And that's all there is to it. This will. This is now an isolated running unit uh, up here. We can leave here. We never have to come back up here again. Fingers crossed. Um, you can see that's going off there. Uh, we'll get the package fuel come back in a second and top this up. So right now we are probably running low on fuel. Let's have a look. Let's see where we're up to. This is just going to be pumping out uranium. We've only got a hundred left there. But here we go. This is going to be really interesting. We are very low on package fuel right now. So this will be the uh, proof in the pudding. Will I get the drone here quick enough? You can actually open the map and you can see the drones making their way around. Although they don't tell you which drone they are. Here's the one I want that's coming. So how close are we going to get? Do you think we'll lose power? I still have a minute's worth of fuel there. There's some in each of the lines. Each generator is full. I think we'll just squeeze through. Here's the drone. It's got our 900 fuel in it. It's 
Oh, it's dropping slowly, but... Oh, there we go. So we're losing some still. It takes a little bit to do its unload operation. And there we go. Bang. I didn't know what you were worrying about at all. But that's it. This is a fully automated system. There's nothing I need to do now. This will continue to deliver uranium. This is our uranium fuel rod facility over there. That one's going up. This one's now re returning to pick up more uranium, which there's 500 in there. And uh, we're good to go. Hopefully this can help you work out how to use drones in remote locations without having to run power cables there. You can do some very swanky setups indeed. You can of course do some stuff with the drones taking, bringing the fuel and taking the uranium away. I really like the concept of a dedicated drone port just for the fuel. That way you know the guarantee that the power is going to be running and the uranium is going to be delivered when it needs to be and there's nothing being held up. Thank you very much and I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, evening or night. Bye.